I have decided to go back and do some more basic tutorials in Linux, so in this video I'll be discussing the terminal command chown and chgroup, which change the ownership of a file and folder. You can see in my temp folder I have multiple files and the user and group who owns a file. So for most of my files it is quids and quids, but I do have a couple that are root. It just so happens the group name is the same as username because it is a single user system for me, but you may have different groups if you have multiple users on your system. Where you might use the chown or change ownership command is on removable media or additional internal hard drives you have on your system that are not necessarily mounted at boot up. Most of the times using the command you'll probably have to elevate your privileges up to root or using the sudo command. So it is sudo chown, the user who you want to take ownership, followed by the group. If I wanted to change one file, you could just simply type in the file name and you can press tab to autocomplete, but I don't necessarily want to adjust that file, so I want to change the folder called demo. Add in the argument dash capital R. There's also another argument which may be useful, and that is a lowercase h. I tend to type in that order, dash h r. So dash h works on symbolic links in that it only changes the symbolic link, not the actual file. And then finally, I'll type in the folder name. Demo, yep, forward slash, that's fine. So now if I clear the screen, control L if you want to do that. So ls dash L, and you can now see I have ownership of the folder. Quids now owns that folder. And looking at the files inside, I own all the files. So if I change the ownership back to root, I'll still be able to read the file, but I won't necessarily be able to make any changes because I'm not a root user. So I can see the contents is ABC, yeah, that's fine, but I won't be able to write any changes to it. So if you use nano, or shock horror, I'm using nano, uh, or you can use your favorite text editor, whatever you want, test.txt, you can see I have warning, no write permission. And if I was to make a change to it, save modified buffer, yes. And I'll get an error writing test.txt permission denied. Yeah, because I'm not a root user at this point. I didn't elevate my privileges up to root, so I can't do anything. However, I can make changes to the other file, answers.txt, save modified buffer, yes, and that's fine, no problems. The other command we're going to look at is chgroup, or change group, which operates in a very similar way to chown, but only changes the group. So if I type in the group name of adm, and then change in the file answers.txt, I'll see if I'm allowed to do that. Yes, I am, because I owned that file. So if I do ls-l, what do we get now? I have quids and group is now ADM. If I wanted to change an entire folder using chgroup, I would use exactly the same arguments of dash h capital R. And upon checking, we can see that the change has been made. That is how to use the chron and chgroup commands in Linux. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.